Hey there, Rambles and Rovers, I am Miguel, writer and adventure traveler, here today to share with you some of my top 10 tips for traveling Cancun on a budget. So Cancun is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the entire world, and the Riviera Maya is not exactly known as the cheapest place to travel. It can be very pricey, and Cancun in particular for all its beautiful beaches and amazing tropical climate is very good at partying tourists with their money. The tourism industrial complex made up of taxi drivers, hoteliers, tour operators and souvenir vendors all conspire to part tourists from their hard-earned cash. It can be very expensive, but it doesn't have to be. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Starting with tip number one, travel during the off season. As a major tourism hotspot, Cancun receives people all year round. In this kind of a place, the lows are not as low, but the highs can be pretty high. So if you're going during the peak season, you'll be competing with millions of other people for the same resources, the same cars, the same hotel rooms, same tours, everything. And what's more, you're gonna miss out on the amazing travel deals that you can find during the off season. So just plan accordingly. It's just much cheaper to travel during the off season when you can find some good travel deals on everything from accommodation to airfare. And when there aren't as many people to serve, you can negotiate better prices with tour operators. It's just a tip that'll save you money before you even get there. Tip number two is something I regularly don't advise, but in the case of Cancun, it very much is worth it. Book your major things in advance. So in a place like Cancun, where travel is pricey and most of the city is geared towards catering to luxury travelers, budget accommodation goes really fast. So the easiest way to save money before going to Cancun is to book your accommodation in advance. If you get there on that very day and you look for a hotel room or a hostel dorm bed, it's very, very likely that the early birds already got the worm. This is a very easy thing to do. You don't need to do this with too much anticipation. Even a week, couple weeks, even a month would be more than enough to book your accommodations beforehand. Tip number three is going to be stay in downtown Cancun, also known as the local zone. So let me explain. Cancun is divided into two different zones. The hotel zone built on this sandbar that juts out into the Mexican Caribbean made up of major resorts, all-inclusive hotels, beaches, dance clubs, fancy restaurants, and naturally that is going to be the most expensive place in all of Cancun to stay. But fortunately, not too far away, you have downtown Cancun, where most of the budget accommodation, the grocery stores, the local bus station is going to be. So everything you will need during your travels, you can find in the downtown. And anytime you wanna go to the beach, you can always just go down to the hotel zone. It'll only take one bus ride and less than a dollar to get there. So it's not a big loss and you are saving tons of money to spend on travel experiences on the actual beach or on having a nicer dinner or whatever else you want to bookmark that money for. So I really recommend that you stay in downtown Cancun, especially in the zone around the Parque de las Palapas and the ADO station, which is the nerve center of Cancun, because out of here you can do pretty much anything, everything from going to another town for a day trip. This is where all the hostels are, and there are a couple grocery stores in the vicinity. Tip number four is to group up and save money on activities. So this is one of the benefits of being so social in a city like Cancun. If you are staying at a hostel, you can always try to group up with more people to do the very same activities. I guarantee you, more people want to do those very same activities that you want to do. Everybody wants to go to the beach, everybody wants to go partying, everybody wants to go dancing, or everybody wants to rent a car, go do cenotes outside of Cancun, maybe even see one of the other towns only half an hour or an hour away. So apart from making new friends, building memorable travel experiences, you also get to save money while doing this. It's much cheaper to rent a car or buy a case of beer or just do anything when you're in a larger group of people. So it pays off to be social in a city like Cancun, literally. Tip number five is use the public transportation. 
Taxi drivers in Cancun have a reputation for price gouging tourists. It costs tons of money to taxi around Cancun. Even Ubering around Cancun can be pretty expensive. And these costs add up as you're moving around the city to the beach or back or to restaurants or anywhere else you want to go. But fortunately, Cancun has a pretty good colectivo and bus system which takes you all over the city especially to and from the hotel zone it costs more or less less than one dollar per trip to go anywhere in cancun also fun fact tons of people party on the cancun buses the locals and the bus drivers are super used to it it's an entirely cancun experience in itself you've been warned tip number six is eat local so a city like cancun where things are geared towards the high-end luxury tourists it can be very expensive to go out and eat every single day but it doesn't have to be there are tons of local dining options and even tons of street food options it is mexico after all that will allow you to have your tasty eats without paying the cost at least monetarily what i would really recommend and this kind of ties in with the accommodation tip is to stay in downtown cancun where you have access to the parque de las palapas where you can find everything from tacos to quesadillas, enchiladas, all of your local typical Mexican fare. It's a place where when the sun goes down and the heat subsides, the food trucks come out. You can find everything from a good dessert to ice cream, marquesitas, all kinds of nice treats. And if you're staying in one of the hostels around the central, it's just a walking distance away. Tip number seven is avoid tourist traps. Cancun is an expensive city and it costs money to do things in Cancun, but it doesn't have to. There are tons of activities that cost nothing or next to nothing to do and are fun and immersive and provide awesome travel experiences. Just going to the beach itself is the major attraction in Cancun and that costs literally nothing but the ticket to get there. Other things to do include going to the Maya Museum, in the hotel zone which won't set you back too much taking a short little jaunt to puerto morelos only half an hour's drive away on a colectivo that'll cost you three to four dollars or even walking to the lighthouse in punta cancun and enjoying some spectacular views of the ocean and isla mujeres and all of the hotel zone even if you want to party you can find the party on the beach and while places like the coco bongo or some of the higher end restaurants and shops can be pretty tempting and enticing and you could probably even splurge if you want to you don't need to, to have a good time in cancun so don't fall for every single tourist trap maybe just one or two tip number eight is bring your own booze as any expert traveler knows drinking while on the road can really wreak havoc not only on your liver but on your travel budget too alcohol really adds up to the price of your daily budget and in a city like cancun where drinking is what everybody does 24 7 it's kind of why 90 percent of people go to cancun it can get expensive very fast especially if you're going to the beach clubs or the bars or some of these overpriced clubs but again it doesn't have to be expensive especially if you're going to the hotel zone the cheapest thing to do is to go to one of the many convenience stores that are around there and just buy your case of beer and take it to the beach with you so you can enjoy the beach and have your drink in without breaking your bank around the corner from the coco bongo one of the most expensive clubs in all of cancun you can find a 7-eleven right on the beach where you can buy beer and just be at the beach it'll cost you literally a tenth of what you would be spending if you were to go into the actual club so tip number nine is negotiate prices this is mexico baby and you gotta barter haggle and negotiate prices mexicans have a real culture of haggling and people are already expecting you to ask for a lower price and they have adjusted their prices accordingly so if you're not haggling let me tell you you're getting shafted as a personal rule of thumb in general obviously depending on what it is that you're getting if you're not bartering at least a 30 percent discount sometimes even deeper depending on what you're trying to buy then you are getting the tourist price on everything from buying a hat on the beach to a tour but just anything else really there's no shame for haggling in mexico we actually kind of take pride in it we have elevated it to a kind of art form so if you don't ask for the lower price 
and you're leaving free money on the table. So tip number 10 is book tours locally. It can be very easy and tempting to go through your Airbnb host or your hostel or your hotel and book the tours that you want to do through them. But you have to understand that when you're doing that, they are acting as middlemen and they are already getting a cut from the tour operator. So it's gonna be very hard for you to haggle for better rates. You have to think that they are incentivized to sell tours at much more expensive prices so that they can make a bigger commission off of them than what you need to be paying for those tours. So it doesn't hurt to go straight to the source and just asking for a better deal, especially if you've grouped up and you have a nice group of people going, you'll generally get a cheaper price. And if you cut the middlemen out, it's much more probable that tour operators will give you a discount and you can negotiate a better rate on some of these day trips or tours that you want to do. So these were our 10 tips on how to travel Cancun on a budget. If you guys have any other tips that I might not have mentioned in this video, feel free to drop a comment and put them in the comments below. It helps out the entire community. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like it and subscribe to our channel. It keeps us growing this amazing community of ramblers and rovers just like you. And it helps us on our mission to bring you inspiring and amazing travel content from all over the world. Everything from tips and travel hacks to tales of adventure and cool and interesting stories from all around the world. So until our next adventures, safe travels my friend. Adios.